Now, for those who come who come to you with uh, complaining about uh, joint pains on their uh, knees or elbows, what would what should they expect after their first adjustment? Would would the first adjustment uh, remove that pain, or should they should they expect that to come to you more often to to have to see the effects of chiropractic care? Yeah. So uh, usually, of course, when someone comes, usually the problem has been there for a while. Mm. I mean, even if it's a day, just one day, that means there's an injury and there's inflammation, and it takes time for healing. So yeah, a person can't expect to come in one time and everything's going to be fixed. Mm -hmm. That's just not realistic. Uh, so it does take time again, depending on how long the problem's mm -hmm. been there and the severity of the injury. And so that's something we do on day one. We identify the problem and then give mm -hmm. a realistic outcome, what it's going to take to get better. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. talk, how many sessions should a patient go through a chiropractic session? Well, I mean, it's really something like if you understand what I've been saying here, that really stress is happening all of the time, right? And we need to take care of our body because we only have one. We need to take care of our joints. So we, we really should do chiropractic forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, okay, well, how often should you go? Well, once you're better, right, a maintenance could be like once a month mm -hmm. or once every two weeks. Some people love it so much they continue it once a week. Okay. Some people do twice a week. You know, it depends on obviously budget. Mm -hmm. You know, that plays a role um, and time. But a maintenance anywhere from one to four mm -hmm. times a month. Now, at the beginning, when someone comes in and they're acute and they have symptoms and their spine is very, you know, misaligned and unhealthy, we might need to see you anywhere from one to three times a week at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So it could be once a week, could be twice a week. So we need that twice a week type of a regimen so we can get that motion back in the spine so we can take the stress off the nerve so the body can heal mm. so we can improve that alignment and then once we get it better then we do a maintenance right do how about do how about a uh, risk associated with chiropractic are there any risk or problems or contraindications yeah. that may associate with chiropractic care okay so yeah of course when you're dealing with your spine you know the the reason chiropractic is so powerful is because this very important organ here called your central nerve Nervous system. Your nerves communicate with everything in your body, right? You saw, you've heard of, you know, Superman. He fell off a horse and broke his neck and could never walk again. So I mean, that's how important your nerves are. It basically is the function of everything. So it's very important that you go to a a licensed chiropractor, yeah. somebody that went to chiropractic school abroad. Unfortunately, there are no chiropractic schools here in the Philippines. So that's why most of us are foreigners. Mm -hmm. uh, here in the Philippines, you have to go through a certification called a PTOC. So we have to maintain our active license abroad and still continue to do all of our continuing education every year abroad. And so then we, but we must maintain a, a PTOC license here in the Philippines to practice here in the mm -hmm. Philippines. Uh, so of course there is risk if you don't know what you're doing and you're letting somebody crack your neck, yes, mm -hmm. there is potential risk. So that's why it's so important to go to somebody that really went to chiropractic school but Doc, do you also fix um, the bones of those who already visited others that are not legit? <laughs> <laughs> sure, people come in, you know, they have other injuries from other oh, things, yeah. certainly, yeah, yeah. But you can also help them, Doc. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. How do we uh, check or validate that uh, a chiropractor is a legit chiropractor? Yeah. Are there... Well, here in the Philippines, you can go to the PTOC website. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's PTOC is like it's a public Philippines website. traditional okay. alternative health care. It's like for... You know, everyone that aren't mm -hmm. medical doctors, okay. uh, that they have to get our license here in the Philippines. So we're going to search the name of the doctor in the PTAC website yeah. Yeah. to validate it. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. so, we see a bunch of videos on uh, social media. We see people cracking necks and adjusting yeah. uh, shoulders, yeah. elbows, yeah. and they say they're... Uh, uh, chiropractors. Yeah. So some people are misled and they're not. visit them and then yeah. they get injuries from that. Yeah. Yep. So again, you just have to be real careful. There's mm -hmm. a lot of things on social media now and a lot of these things, a lot of people will come in asking if we do certain things that they saw online. Yeah. You know, a lot of the things that you're seeing online is done for views mm -hmm. and likes. Yeah. You know, it's these um, kind of extreme type adjustments. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't do it's those because they're not safe. So it's mm -hmm. real important that, yeah. In some videos of uh, showcase so much cracking though. They focus on the cracks yeah. instead of yes. the alignment. So, so uh, for those who are interested in chiropractic, does it necessarily need to be full of cracks? Right. The, uh, I mean, the question. sessions? Sometimes there aren't a lot of cracks. Mm -hmm. you know, or a person, right. sometimes a person's spine 
um, doesn't make a lot of sound. <laughs> so yeah, really? yeah, you're they, seeing. They find it so super satisfying. Right. Yeah, <laughs> right. that's, that's why they love to hear yeah, that. Yeah, you get addicted to the crack, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, and people think yeah, well, that's what we're doing. Really, what we're doing is we, we are yeah, we are restoring the motion in the joint, and that's what makes the popping sound. Mm. Like when you mm. crack your knuckles, mm -hmm. it's air kind of escaping the joint. Mm. That's what makes the tonog mm -hmm. yeah. the sound. Uh, so, but really what we're doing, yeah, we're getting that motion back, but we just want to improve that function of the nerve. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes, two things when we're adjusting the spine, joint and nerve. That's mm -hmm. what we're dealing with. And a chiropractic session is quite fast. Mm -hmm. It's anywhere from one to three minutes. Mm -hmm. But why is it so powerful is because of the nerves, right? Your nerve controls muscle, your nerve controls organ. Everything communicates via the central nervous system. So when we adjust the joint and we improve that nerve function, your body's instantly starting to heal. Mm -hmm. So an adjustment really is beginning after the adjustment. So when you leave, your body's healing. Tonight, you're going to sleep better. Your body's recovering. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's not about the cracks. It's about the proper mm -hmm. adjustment to improve nerve. And sometimes, yes, there is. There is popping, yes. Mm -hmm. it's like... How about for some key takeaways about the role of chiropractic care and our bones, uh, bones and joints, overall yeah. health as well. Yeah. So I mean, every chiropractor is different. Every chiropractor has a different message. Um, our clinics are really designed to improve posture, to improve alignment, and improve health. Um, of course, people come in usually because they have pain, and yeah, we're going to get rid of your pain. But you know, we want to correct the problem so the pain doesn't continue to come back. The reason symptoms always come back is because of the stressors of life. Mm -hmm. Everything is stress, how you sit, how you sleep, what you do for work, worrying about the exams, worrying <laughs> about our kids, worrying about finances. These are all stressors. They accumulate on your spine and they affect how your body functions and that leads to the symptom. Mm -hmm. So doing regular adjustments alleviates that stress, keeps your joints healthy for the long term, keeps your nerves functioning so you're getting sick less often, you don't have the headaches, you don't have the back pain. So that's how our chiropractic uh, clinics are set up, more for a long-term approach so that you can prevent these problems that we've discussed. Mm -hmm.